Good morning gamers, today I'll be going over a perfect run of the Kyo Prico Heist. This is what it will look like once you guys get really good and you're welcome to inspect what we do, take notes if you feel so inclined, and just overall look what we do and how to get to the point where Adam and I have gotten. So I decided to bring Adam along just so we can pick up some secondary targets inside the compound and to show you guys how the keypads work in El Rubio's compound to pick up those secondary targets. All right, everything looks in place. Let's go ahead and start it up. <clears throat> so this is not Adam and I's first rodeo. We've been doing this heist for about, I don't know, three weeks or so. So we've gotten pretty good at it. And don't forget to touch happy ball for good luck. Yes, I mentioned happy ball. Okay. Touch happy ball for good luck. This is imperative to your success. You will fare the heist if you do not touch the happy ball. Yes. This is confirmed by many sources. <clears throat> All the best GTA players. My game crashed. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I will not yeah. be showing. Um, <laughs> uh, how do you guys do it with multiple people? Because Adam's game crashed, so this is gonna be a solo run. Isn't that great? Well, um, I'm sorry. Uh, my game does that. Yeah, Adam's game crashes a lot, which is very unfortunate. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do it perfectly by yourself. Basically, with multiple people, you use those key cards to get the secondary targets. You want to prioritize gold over everything. So, let's do it. Just a solo run. Alright, coming out of the drainage tunnel. This is going to be the heist. Let's go. Perfect Kyo Prico heist. Let's see how it's done. Take out these two. Since I'm by myself, I won't even need that second key card, so I don't even have to kill a lot of people to find that drop. Let's go. We got gate keys. That makes everything a lot easier. Now, I'm going to be going over and take out this guy right here from here. You basically just want to get that pixel. Not that pixel, just. You want to basically just shoot him in the head from that angle down there. Run over here. Take out this guard. And you don't have to kill that one yet. You want to take out this guy walking over here before the jug sees him. No. Oh, I don't see him yet. There we go. Sneak behind the jug. And take him out. Honestly, the jug is optional. I just feel a lot safer if he is taken out because his route is really weird and it goes around the entire compound. You can take out this card too. And he did pick up the key card. I mean, he did drop the key card. I'm going to go pick it up. The only reason you would head to the office if you are solo is picking up that painting if it does spawn in there. And I will be going for Elite Challenges Heist. This is why I'm making this video just to show you how to do an Elite Challenge. Elite Challenge is under 15 minutes, zero hacks failed, full loot bags, and the most importantly, zero retries. So, take out this guard right here. Oh my god, no way. Alright, almost failed there. I missed the headshot. I think I'm okay though. Alright, hopefully I'm okay. I really don't want to restart. Alright. That was my mistake. I missed the head. Alright, let's over to the basement right away. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. Don't hack in the office. It's just a waste of time. It's a lot easier in the basement because of gate keys and less animations and less hacking overall. Let's go ahead and make our way to primary target. See, I am passing secondary targets in these storages because I can't even get them. I need another person. Alright, let's go over hacking real quick again. Reset them all to look like the top of the fingerprint. You can leave the bottom too. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I just cycle back on that one. Cycle left. Alright, hacking is complete. Part of lead challenge, zero hacks failed. All right, use our cutting torch to burn the lock. Another useful part of the cutting torch. Pick up our diamond. Okay, time to focus. 
I got lucky, and it took me a couple retries, but I did get the pink diamond. If you are not satisfied with your primary target, you, you can always call Pavel on the mainland to cancel your heist. So you get a better primary target if you want to. Alright, we got our diamond. Let's head over to the main gate. And this is going to be minimal cuts, just because I want to show you guys every part of it. Okay, my way up. Alright, took out those two guards. Now we have to deal with the guards outside of the compound. Now, this is a quick little fact here. Um, if you do die outside the compound, you immediately get deducted around 200k, just as just a... Um, I don't know what to call it, but you just lose 200k if you die outside of the compound, so keep that in mind. So, you don't get alarmed if you lose some money. Take out this guard. Take out this guard. We got two guys up ahead. Take out the camera. Once we're on the bike. Alright. Now I'm going to make my way to the cocaine I scouted out when I was initially gathering intel. Make my way through the trees. I apologize for the frames. I'm actually going to get off my bike here and deal with the sniper. That's why I bring crack shot. Wait till you have a good shot. There we go. I think I can actually take out the cam from here too. I have to be careful of El Rubio though. Alright, El Rubio is going a different direction. I think I'll be fine. Where's the camera? Alright, once I get closer, I'll take out the cam. Alright, I think I'm still good with Lee Challenge under 15 minutes. Alright, from here I see the camera. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, Ruby was turning a little bit. I think I'm going to play it safe here and just swim. It's just a lot easier. So you're just going to run along this edge over here. It's like El Rubio is making his way over. So overall, look at your mini-map, stay out of the lines of sight. I need to wait for this guy to walk over here. And then take out that guard in the back. Alright, he's taken care of. Almost messed up there, but we're still good. Alright, the cocaine is open. So this is the best possible setup you can get. Pink diamond with two cocaine, that is the best you can get solo. Because you cannot get gold when you are doing the heist by yourself. This is going to be around 2 point... No, not 2 point. Uh, 1.8 million. At least that's the take. Pick up this cocaine. That sniper tower won't see you, don't worry about him. Just spamming A to pick it up. 1.6 from 1 cocaine. And gonna get around 1.8. And I think we're still good for the challenge. It needs to be under 15 minutes. Alright, let's make our way to main dock. Alright, hopefully this guy starts walking. I have to make I have to wait for him. I think I gotta take out the sniper from here though. Alright, let's take out this guy walking right here. Let me 
me take out the sniper if I can. I cannot. He's not facing my direction, so I can run. Alright. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Hopefully the sniper doesn't turn around. Be really unfortunate right now. I'm stuck in a tree. Come on, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Alright. Looks like we're good now. No. Are you serious? He literally looked my direction. Oh my god. Are you serious? That was so unfortunate. Alright, I think I can still make it out of here. What? How am I... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's glitch, but whatever. I'll take it. I don't know. I just got really unlucky that my cocaine wasn't at these main dock spawns. Basically, you just kill, out, kill the guys I'm taking out now. I have no idea how I'm not detected, but... We'll take what we can get. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Good animation. Alright, I guess we'll take it. Whatever. Alright. This isn't really flawless. I haven't done one of these in a while, but... Alright, basically you just want to get on this boat. See if you can kill this guy. Get, get your shot lined up on him. There we go. Alright, got his head. Watch out for this patrol boat. And we can go past him. Alright, I should not have gotten detected there. Well, technically I didn't. I don't know how, but really, uh, I just want to go pick up that cocaine. You don't even have to pick up that cocaine over there. That probably won't even spawn there for you. But you can pick up those secondary target spawns at, north do at main dock. And you just don't care what those secondary targets are just to fill up your loot bag to get elite challenge. So it's totally optional you it's totally optional for you to find that cocaine and go to it. Or you could just go to main dock, pick up whatever secondary targets are there from those secondary target spawns, and there you go. That is basically a flawless Coyote Rico heist. We just exited it on the dinghy. Alright, let's see Elite Challenge. And this cutscene for you won't be the same, but it's a great cutscene if you play story mode. Alright, let's see what I get. Actual take is 1.6. 100%. With Elite Challenge, did in 12 minutes and 10 seconds. Zero hacks failed. Full loot bags. 1.65 million. So it's around 50k for Elite Challenge, but once you get really good at the heist, you'll only be getting Elite Challenge. And I had it on normal. But if I'm hard, I would have gotten a little bit more money. So if you are doing these heists back to back, make sure you start them right away whenever you can. So see you guys when I look at the ending cutscene. All right. So that basically concludes the Kyle Perico heist. That was basically flawless until the very end over there. But I still got out undetected, so that's nice. And thank you guys for watching. This is all of the takes. So. That was basically the best you can do by yourself so with that pink diamond and the cocaine. So 1.653 is a pretty good estimate of what you can get just by doing the heist yourself if you get a good primary target and secondary targets. So, thanks for watching.